Just one day after the Alamance Burlington school system named their new superintendent, school board leaders are now pointing out their efforts to overcome several problems at some of their schools. ABC 45's Bailey Samos joins us in studio after taking a tour of one of the buildings receiving upgrades. That's right, Ashley. Today I got a first-hand look at the progress of one of eight buildings currently undergoing major repairs within the Alamance Burlington school system. With the first day of school less than a month away, they are busy getting things all ready for students. The sound of temporary AC units fill the packed halls of Turrentine Middle School, an unusual sight that has become pretty common for many Alamance Burlington schools this summer. All of our classrooms, you can see this new uh, vent here. This is what's coming in from the piping that I showed you outside. Uh, that's 100% fresh air that's being uh, pushed into all of the classrooms. This comes nearly a year after toxic mold was first discovered in many of their schools. Now, ABSS is working to remediate the issue by installing new HVAC units and replacing other necessary parts throughout eight of their campuses. Four elementary schools, three middle schools, and one high school are getting the upgrades through COVID relief funding. The project started earlier this summer and are expected to wrap up on August 19th, one week before school starts. And we'll just continue to work our way through the the needs that schools have to make sure that all the schools have well-functioning HVAC systems. Interim Superintendent Dr. Bill Harrison says although there are many changes happening, he is confident in passing the torch to newly announced Superintendent Dr. Aaron Fleming. He's the absolute perfect fit for ABSS at this time. He's had working experiences, experience with, with construction, um, and, and I'm, I'm just really, really confident and feel like I can go home and rest easy. We're told other county funded projects, including track and roof replacements, are still in the works at multiple schools. In the studio, Bailey Stamos, ABC 45 News, standing up for you.